During that period, in fact, uh, I was, as the word was just mentioned, I was a terrorist. A terrorist. A terrorist. A terrorist. A terrorist. This time, more than with, say, the Trib or the Daily News in New York, people understand that this is a life and death strike. That is, if they get away with it, these two massive chains, Gannett and Knight Ritter, if they get away with this here, this is going to happen everywhere all around the country. Uh, and they're just going to go down. The unions are going to go down like dominoes in this industry. So for the first time in a long time, the whole AFL-CIO has seen this as an important place to draw a line. No Sunday paper! 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 We're just uh, little folks that have mortgage payments and cars that need to be paid for, but we're here doing the right, just, and correct thing. We're not gonna. We're not gonna bend to the pressures of these corporations. There's another thing that everyone should consider in all of this. One of our basic freedoms in this country is freedom of the press. And what corporations are starting to do now is tamper and manipulate with that freedom. They're telling their reporters to go out and find the facts that conform to what they want to find. In other words, the company line is being spread through that. And by controlling those reporters through professionalism or merit pay, they've seriously damaged one of our basic freedoms. Gannett just spent $1.7 billion for Multimedia Corporation a few weeks ago. Knight Ritter just spent $360 million this past week for a chain of four newspapers in Northern California. So they obviously have money to burn, and they're going to burn a lot of it to try to bust unions here in Detroit. They want to set a pattern to take this across the country to their other guild shop papers and union papers. Former executive editor and later publisher at the Free Press, Dave Lawrence, who's now publisher of the Miami Herald, he created this huge um, middle-level bureaucracy that um, didn't used to exist. Building a managerial class into the paper and creating a system uh, like uh, officers and enlisted men. That if the American people don't wake up, shame. You know who's going to own this country? The few top at, at the very top. That's so, why you got these. That's why you've got these uh, uh, monopolies being created every day. You see it on television with GE and Westinghouse. They're owning the communication lines. They're going to tell you what you're going to hear and not going to hear. Just like the news is putting out now with the scab paper and the free press. It's a slanted. As it comes right to the heart of the matter of two uh, national corporations that don't want to have union contracts anymore in this city. They have a legal monopoly for the next 94 years in this city to set prices 
uh, to not have any print competition of any kind. Every single one of these unions has major strike issues that uh, made the membership of that union go on. The JOA is a, really a corporate monopoly in order to maximize the profits of Gannett and Knight Ritter. They claim that without the joint operating agreement that Detroit would only have one newspaper. They claim that the JOA would preserve jobs when in fact almost a thousand if not more workers including myself lost their jobs. And now, of course, we see that with this current strike, they want to lay off hundreds and hundreds of more workers. They want to bust the unions. Already they're making, under the joint operating agreement, they're making $54 million a year in profits, but it's not enough for them. And it's almost cliche to say that, that the strike was caused by the company because they want to break the unions. It really is true. And, and I'll give you, in a nutshell, uh, an example of that. 49 hours before that strike deadline, they made a proposal to the Teamsters. You know, we're only one of six unions involved here. They made a proposal to the Teamsters saying, if you want to hold on to 350 of your members, the price is you have to agree to never strike us again, ever, and to never respect another union's picket line. Now, have you ever even heard of proposals like that? The order was given inside the DNA, inside the plant, to barrel through that gate, to break the barricade with the truck. People were gathered peacefully in that driveway. The truck barreled through that gate, caught that log, and people would have been killed. People were falling on the ground. People could have easily been killed. The, the company hired these people. Where my life changed was when I realized that my company was willing to kill me in order to get their newspaper out by putting those trucks through a gate and not giving us any warning and we had to flee for our lives. And I believe that when newspapers lie and, and when they twist the truth and when they're perverted and when they sell their souls for money, then all of society suffers. We had about 200 cups and maybe another couple hundred reserves um, probably just deputized and they split the crowd up and some people were beaten with clubs and broken, rib, broken ribs. The guy had a couple bunch of ribs and was wincing in pain and the cops told him to get up and keep moving. He said, I can't move. And um, at the same time, other people were being drug out into the center who were beat up and one guy looked to be unconscious and wasn't moving anywhere and they were just laying out in the middle and we were dispersed. Guards from the Detroit newspaper agency came pushing through, uh, beating on the picketers. Uh, the Detroit police eventually came in, and the picketers were caught between the police and the scab guards, and some people were hurt, and no scabs were arrested. Get these on the paper! No, 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 we set off no, no, to join the picking no, lines, no, 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 and together we no, cannot no, bail. We got no, stung no, by no, police no, at the county no, line, they said go no, on boys, no, or you're going to jail. No, which side no, are you on no, boys? No, which side no, are you no, on? No, which side no, are you no, on no, boys? No, which side no, are you no, on? No, 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 well, it's hard to explain to a crying child why her daddy won't go back. So the family suffer, but it hurts me more to hear a scab say, so you, Jack. Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Well, I'm bound to follow my conscience and I'll do whatever I can And it'll take much more than a union law to knock the fight out of a working man And which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on?